Among the many holidays observed by people everywhere, Christmas is by far the most widely recognized and widely celebrated thanks to the fun-filled activities and traditions that bring families together. Observed on the 25th of December each year, Christmas is a holiday that commemorates the birth of Jesus Christ. From ice skating under twinkling lights and shopping at quaint holiday markets to taking in a live performance and spectacular shows, Christmas has everything you need to break away from the daily grind and have a fantastic time with your loved ones. But have you ever considered how the Christmas celebrations got their start? What are some of the traditions that people practice around the world? Don't you worry, because we have got you covered. In today's video, we'll discuss Christmas Day and all the events leading up to it. Many centuries ago, people in Europe used to hold festivals to mark the approach of spring and express their joy at the prospect of having longer days and more hours of sunlight. In order to celebrate the rebirth of the sun, the men of the house would bring enormous logs into the house, which they would then light on fire. The people would continue to feast until the wood had completely burned out, which could take as long as a week and a half. The Norse held the belief that each spark that emerged from the fire was symbolic of a new pig or calf that would be born the following year. In most parts of Europe, the end of December was a lovely time for festivities and gatherings of family and friends. At that time of year, the majority of the herd was slaughtered so they would have enough food during the colder months. It was the one and only time of the year that many people had access to a quantity of fresh meat. In addition, the majority of the wine and beer that was produced over the year had finally finished fermenting and was ready to be consumed. However, the birth of Jesus was not honored at all during those early years, and Easter was the only important event in the initial years of Christianity. In fact, during the first two centuries of Christianity, there was significant resistance to the practice of commemorating the birthdays of martyrs or, for that matter, of Jesus. Many church fathers made absurd remarks regarding the pagan practice of celebrating birthdays, as according to them, saints and martyrs should be honored on the days of their martyrdom, which in the eyes of the church were their real birthdays. Despite the fact that many people are under the impression that Christmas celebrations were first introduced in Germany, this is not actually the case. Although Germany did not invent Christmas, it is the country that gave rise to many of the customs associated with the holiday, including the practice of decorating Christmas trees. It was in fact during the reign of Constantine, the Roman Emperor, in the year 336 AD that the holiday of Christmas was first observed on December 25th. No one is aware of the exact date when Jesus was born. Since the Bible does not specify a date for this event, one could wonder why it is traditionally celebrated on December 25th. There are a number of different customs and speculations that attempt to explain why Christmas is celebrated on December 25th. On March 25th, the angel Gabriel revealed to Mary that she would give birth to a child who would go on to play a pivotal role in the history of the world. The 25th of December comes exactly nine months and one day after the 25th of March, as a result, the 25th of December was chosen as the day to commemorate the Christmas holiday. On the other hand, church leaders chose December 25th as the day to celebrate Christmas because they wanted the holiday to fall in line with other pagan celebrations that honored Mirtha in Satan at the time. March 25th was also the day some early Christians thought the world had been made and also the day that Jesus died when he was an adult. So according to them, Jesus was conceived and had died on the same day of the year. In the early 17th century, the holiday of Christmas was observed differently across Europe thanks to a wave of ecclesiastical reform that began. The celebration of Christmas was prohibited by Oliver Cromwell and the Puritan forces that he led after they took control of England in 1645. As part of their mission to cleanse England of decadence, they pledged to abolish the holiday. As a result of the will of the people, Charles II was reinstated to the throne, and with him came the reinstatement of the well-liked holiday. Throughout the course of years, people have adhered to a number of customs, and that too for a good reason. From caroling and going to a Christmas tree farm to counting down the days before Christmas with an advent calendar, baking and giving gifts, the range of activities and customs associated with Christmas is virtually unlimited. Whenever we hear the term Christmas, the image of a tree is the first thing that comes to our minds. For countless generations, the fir tree has played an important role in the festivities surrounding winter holidays. 
The start of the holiday season is officially recognized by the tradition of decking out a Christmas tree with lights and a variety of ornaments. The majority of cities and towns around the nation also hold an annual lighting ceremony, and many of them incorporate other enjoyable activities like singing Christmas carols together. In the latter part of the 17th century, a brand new custom of associating the holiday with the preparation of gingerbread emerged. People either construct their own gingerbread houses from scratch or buy ready-made kits and decorate them in honor of Christmas. One further enjoyable and creative custom associated with Christmas is the preparation and sending of Christmas cards to one's family, friends and colleagues, accompanied by notes expressing one's warmest sentiments. If you reside in a cold nation that receives a significant amount of snowfall during the winter months, one of the enjoyable activities that you can participate in with your friends and family is the age-old custom of constructing a snowman and dressing it up. The hanging of Christmas stockings on Christmas Eve is another common tradition. These stockings are typically left empty so that Santa Claus can fill them with presents such as candy, fruit, cash, and small toys when he visits. You might be wondering where the idea of Santa Claus came from in the first place. How do you celebrate Christmas? Post your answers in the comments section below. Are you wondering where the story of Santa Claus comes from? Then check out this video here.